shoes. Welcome back to the ranch. Today we're gonna test out these Aguila 158 grain semi-jacketed soft point 357 Magnum rounds. And I've devised a test to try to make them expand. I sort of think of these as target ammunition, but if they do expand out of the short barrel Kimber K6S DASA, which will be the test gun for the day, if we do get expansion with the 158 grain Aguilas, that will be an interesting result indeed, since they are just this lead flat nose semi-jacketed soft point. Regarding the test, I have all these kitty litter jars full of water and a quarter inch MDF fiberboard. I'm expecting that this is the best chance to produce expansion with this round. And ordinarily, I'd start off with a chronograph test, but right now the cows uh, are, they've been running around kind of crazy. I don't really know which direction it would be safe to shoot in. So I'm just going to shoot these water jugs and reference back to the chronograph test that I did of these earlier in the summer. Six rounds of the 158 grain Aguilas. Oh, yeah. Here's uh, 1,048 for those 158 grain of gilas. Not too bad. There, 1,075. Thousand eighty-seven. You know, with those gilas, I'm getting quite a bit of spray, so I'm glad I have glass. <laughs> Sure where that one went. 1051. I'll switch to double action. That 1139 felt that one. Good grief. 1083. And I guess that's six. Kind of lost count. <laughs> As Dirty Harry says, all right, let's review that. We had a high of 1139, a low of 1048, six shot average of 1080 feet per second for the 158 grain Aguilas, semi-jacketed soft point. All right, and we'll get about 10 feet back and just aim center of mass and see if we can capture that bullet. <laughs> yeah. Not seeing any signs of expansion in that board. First jug, second jug, third jug, fourth jug, fifth jug, sixth kitty litter jar. Ha! We, well. I think that bullet did not expand out of the two inch barrel of the Kimber K6S DASA. But looking at the board, looking at the backer board here, the plywood, I see where the bullet impacted, but it did not go through clearly. So, oh, oh, that's awesome. Hold on, take the camera off the, off the tripod. I don't normally get to find a bullet that easily 
after a test, unless I actually capture it in the matrix, uh, in the in the water jugs or in the gel, whatever I'm using. But there it is. <laughs> All right, let's pull it up here in the light. Yeah, that's uh, that's deformed a bit. Here's here's the the round as it starts out. And uh, there is what it looks like after it's been fired. All right, that's uh, that's kind of an interesting result. Let's see that base. Well, not really sure what those aguilas would be useful for other than target ammunition. But they're definitely a less expensive option in 357 Magnum. And they might get a little bit of mushrooming out of uh, a longer barrel. Maybe, maybe we should do the same test with the Rossi. I don't know. All right. Thanks, folks. That was a fun experiment. This is Dave for DDR. Have another great week. No issues.